So today on the table, I've got the MSI GL65 9SC once more. And what I'm doing with this one will be comparing dual channel memory to single channel memory. I've only got a small amount of tests though. I'm testing out GTA 5 benchmark, a CSGO recorded video, and Cinebench. So to begin with, I'll open the machine up and switch out the RAM. And what I'll be installing is some crucial 8 gig DDR4-2666 CL19 memory. I've got two sticks of this. I will be replacing the original Samsung stick in there. Even though it's the same speed, I just wanted to make sure they're an identical pair. So I'm not sure if you might be able to just add an extra stick of 2666 memory and have it run in dual channel. But for the sake of these tests, I've made sure it's identical. So I have got this in fast forward and I'll be next up, I'll be just going into the BIOS just to double check that it is showing up the 16 gig in there. Now I'm going to cut to some gameplay footage, CSGO to begin with, followed by GTA 5 and then Cinebench. And at the end of all that, I will be showing the charts that I've came up with. It. But anyway, as we can see on the left hand side, that machine is the 16 gig dual channel machine. And the one on the right is prior to the upgrade, just a single stick of 8 gig. But if you look at the current frame rate that it's getting, it's considerably more on the left hand side in CSGO, but also the GPU utilization seems to be considerably more as well, which is a kind of odd thing. Being that also processor utilization hasn't gone up either. So this definitely seems to be one game that has improved due to, due to dual channel memory. And next up here we've got GTA 5, which I've synced them up as well as I could. Which on the left hand side again is the 16 gig dual channel system. And on the right is the 8 gig single channel. As we can see these ones perform much closer to one another compared to CSGO. So you're netting very little improvement going down the dual channel upgrade path for this particular game. So I'll cut from this and I'll load up Cinebench and we'll see what improvements we can get from there. So now onwards to Cinebench revision 20. As we can certainly see here it's nowhere near as quick as what you usually see in other benchmark channels but this isn't also the fl most flagship processor out there. So what we want to know is, was there any improvement with Cinebench in dual channel mode? So right now this is my dual channel score, 1839. So a little bit below the 7700K. So what I'll do now is bring up the results from the single channel. And as you can see, not a very big improvement at all. 1797 versus 1839. So definitely not a massive improvement at all. But then again, I wasn't really expecting much of a difference, if any change at all. So the dual channel is marginally helpful. And now from here, I'm going to load up some graphs that I've created. They're fairly poor in quality. Apologies, but you'll get the idea. Which, as you can see, the average frame rate climbed considerably. The min frame rate had a, a very decent jump up as well. And the max just kind of skyrocketed. Basically, what this means for me on the GL65 would be that I'd be hitting the 120 hertz refresh rate quite often at these current graphic settings, which are all set to high. So for CSGO on this model with dual channel memory would definitely be worthwhile, especially if CSGO is your current go-to game. 
Next up, GTA 5, which as you can see, didn't really have that much of an improvement. I believe in past one I may have actually put the results back to front, but there is marginally no real difference between them. As we're looking here, a high of 9, 9 FPS, which is only around about 10 to 13 percent of an improvement, which if you are trying to squeeze out maximum performance, you could go down that path. Also, if you're thinking of getting faster DDR4 memory, if you've got the i5-9300, it would just be throwing money away, purely because the processor is set to run at 2666. So there's no point getting 3000 or any faster memory for this model of laptop with this processor. You'd just be throwing money away. Unless that memory would be cheaper than the 2666 memory, there's really no advantage at all in purchasing faster memory to go in it. So in conclusion, would I recommend upgrading your RAM to dual channel? Especially, well, in one regard if you need more RAM and you're utilizing that memory, certainly go out purchase another 8 gig stick of 2666, install it, use that RAM, get a slight performance boost, especially if it's something like CSGO, which has reacted a lot better than I was actually originally anticipating. But if you're doing it just purely to improve game or frame rate in certain games, you may get no improvement at all, quite like GTA 5. But nowadays with memory usage going up and up, Google Chrome eating up that RAM, for the price of $50 to $100, I would probably go down the path of upgrading it to 16 gig and then leaving it at that. So anyway, these are my thoughts, results, conclusions, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.